Okay, now to the talk of Metro Detroit and the country tonight. People still reacting to the showdown between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. This was their first and potentially only presidential debate. Now we know many people have their minds made up over who they are voting for, but some are still undecided. So tonight, 7 News Detroit reporter Faraj Javid is catching back up with an undecided voter he talked to yesterday, as well as another undecided voter about how they score last night's debate. Oh, hi, I'm Faraz Javid for 7 News Detroit. So yesterday was a presidential debate. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris went head to head on issues that impact our communities. Yesterday, I spoke to an undecided voter and asked her what are some of the issues that matter to her the most? What are some of the things she would like candidates to focus on during the debate? So today I'm going to meet her and another undecided voter and ask them to grade both candidates. Kamala Harris, it's up good debate. You see, have fun. After watching last night's debate, Peg Perrin had much to share. Nothing really changed, convinced me that I really like one over the other one. So, I'm before, still undecided. You're still undecided? Yeah, I really am. Now, let's start off with economy. How did former President Trump do? Well, he talked about his record, mm -hmm. basically. I'll give him a B. What about Vice President? She didn't seem to agree with a lot of the record, the Biden-Harris uh, economy, so I'm going to give her a C. For foreign affairs and the two wars, Peg gave Trump a C. Because he claims he's going to stop the wars right away on day one, and I didn't hear how he's going to do it. What about Harris? I give her a D. She doesn't have any experience. She's been there for three and a half years. We're supporting her. A okay. certain side. On the topic of border, Peg put down a B and a C. Now, is it because the way they answered it, or is it Past the way... Past performance uh, and the way they answered it, too. Okay. For gun control, Trump ended up with a C, while Harris got a B. I don't understand why they don't outlaw assault rifles. And then, of course, she moved down to mental health, and uh, unfortunately, guns are getting in the hands of people with mental issues. As far as you remember, they didn't speak about mental health. But if you think about what they've been championing right, right, for right, right, for the right. past few years, uh -huh. how would you grade them? I'll give them both a C because okay. I, I really, yeah. Just looking at this right now, feels like slightly more. Slightly. I, the debate didn't really make that much of an impact for me. I'm not sure about others. Speaking of others, I also met with another Michigan voter, Rochelle Kowalski, who shared her ballot choice after watching the debate. If oh. I had to vote today, yeah. I wouldn't be voting. And her grades for each candidate pretty much echoed similar sentiments. I think they've both done an okay job, but I don't think they've done enough. But Rochelle did want to add one more issue. And that is? Abortion rights. I firmly believe that men need to stay out of women's bodies. That's why Rochelle gave Trump a hard F and Harris a solid A. Overall, how did they do? They both did horrible. Really? Because neither one of them came in with a plan. For 7 News Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid.